Now, Mr. President, on another matter, on Tuesday, President Trump will deliver his first State of the Union address. He'll have good news to deliver on a variety of fronts. I'm particularly looking forward to his remarks on our economy. Consumer confidence is up. Unemployment is down. Markets are breaking records from small businesses to our largest job creators, pay raises, bonuses, and plans for new investments are all in season. Of course, the engine of American prosperity is the American people. But smart policy can help by getting the government out of the way. Last December, Republicans in the House and the Senate joined the President to deliver once-in-a-generation tax reform. Every day, more evidence piles up that tax reform is already working for the American people. The headlines are full, full of major employers announcing pay raises and bonuses for workers, as well as new investments. For example, Brown Foreman, a global spirits company headquartered in my hometown of Louisville that employs more than 1,000 Kentuckians, announced yesterday that tax reform will help the company to start a new charitable foundation for community investment and commit $120 million to fund employee pensions. Soon, thanks to tax reform, a Main Street small business owner will finally be able to realize her dream to expand into the vacant shop next door. Of course, that'll mean hiring more help. Soon, thanks to tax reform, a father and son manufacturing plant will be able to afford the new equipment they've been eyeing and give their workers new skills in the process. Stories like these may not make waves here in Washington, but believe me, they'll be front page news in communities all across our country. From coast to coast, Americans' lives will improve as Main Street businesses operate for the first time under a 21st century tax code. This is not just a tax law for the big guys. Now, even the smallest businesses will be able to take a significant deduction on their business income, giving them more money to buy new equipment, hire a new employee, or provide health coverage for their team. So much focus has been on bonuses, pay raises, and 401k matches, and for good reason. But we should not forget all the jobs that will be created when businesses decide to invest more because they can immediately deduct their capital expenditures. I'm already hearing from small business owners this law was designed to help. Before tax reform, one franchise restaurant owner in Kentucky wrote me to say that, quote, the current high tax rate, <coughs> the current high tax rate that I pay as a pass-through entity reduces the amount of earnings I can reinvest into my business, employees, and community. She went on to say, quote, I'm very encouraged that tax reform is underway in Congress, and I hope that it can be accomplished in a timely manner. Well, Mr. President, Republican majorities in Congress and the President did just that. In Nicholasville, Kentucky, another constituent of mine operates a rental business for event uh, equipment. He recently explained, quote, the relief that will be provided by the new tax bill gives companies like mine the capital to purchase new inventory as well as hire additional employees. So summing it up, American enterprise is thriving. Tax reform helped make it happen.